Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Today is Monday, April 11th, 2022, and it is a day four. Before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you to participate in the Mindful Minute. It's a good way to get yourself to notice this here and the now, the present moment, to be present. And to, this is kind of an interesting week. Many of you guys, in your minds or in your heart, you might, and this includes our teachers too, you might be thinking about Thursday. That's the first day of spring break. I am. I'll be honest. And this is where you have to be intentional. You have to do something on purpose. That is to stop your brain th from thinking about that. That's in the future. It hasn't happened yet. And bring your attention back to the now, right here. It's Monday. I mean, let's not make Monday feel bad by paying attention to Thursday and the beginning of spring break. Monday's got a lot to offer. This moment has a lot to offer, and let's just notice it. So use your eyes and scan your environment, for instance, and find something that catches your attention and catches your eyes and just study it. I, I actually just happen to be paying attention to something right out the window. And I'm going to look at it. I'm going to encourage you to find something in your room and study it. Study the textures, the colors, how big or small it is. And just be present and notice that you are existing in that same place as that thing you notice with your eyes. I happen to be looking at the fresh cut grass. Hmm. All right, with your nose, breathe in. And out. What do you pick up with your sense of smell? What does it remind you of? With your ears, just pause really quietly and notice what sounds there are around you. Sounds that maybe you weren't picking up until now. And then finally, with your sense of uh with your sense of touch, with your skin, what do you feel? Everything from temperature to the humidity, the wetness of the air or dryness, to your clothing. Whether you have an itch or if you're sore, if you, maybe you played soccer or you play baseball and, and you feel sore from working out. All right, let's move to our breathing technique for the day. Now, you guys all know that Brody taught us a great <clears throat> and fun breathing exercise. Let's go ahead and practice that. Of course, if you don't want to use the elephant breathing technique, you can use one of the other breathing techniques that we taught you or one that you have developed yourself. Let's go ahead. Notice your body. Notice the chair holding you up. If your feet are on the floor, notice the floor. Okay. Let's go ahead and take that first breath in with your nose. And then slowly let it out through your mouth. Let your shoulders relax. Allow your body to settle in to the now. As you breathe in, feel that air going into your belly, flowing in through you, giving some life to your body. And then as you breathe out, let go of feelings of unpleasantness and things that worry, negative energy. Go ahead and breathe in. Notice your brain, and if it's not thinking about breathing or what's going on here in the now, breathe out, notice, and bring that attention back to the here and the now. Be fully awake, even if your eyes are closed. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Begin to scan through your body from your toes. Wiggle all ten of your toes, boys and girls. Breathe in. Notice them. Notice your ankles. Notice your feet. Breathe out. Notice your legs, including your knees. Both of them. Your left and your right. Scan through your body to your lower back. Your belly as you breathe in. Notice that belly expanding. And then breathe out. Notice your chest and your shoulders as once again they relax. Breathe in again. Notice your arms, your elbows, your wrists. Wiggle all ten fingers. Notice them. Breathe out. Notice your neck and your head. 
And then pay attention to what feelings you've brought to school in your hearts. Breathe in again. Identify them. Sometimes you can be angry and happy at the same time. Maybe for different reasons. Breathe out. Just whatever those feelings are, whether they're pleasant or not, just notice them. That's all we're asking you to do. Breathe in. Open your heart and allow them in to tell you what they need to tell you. Now in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we all want you all to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, it's ultimately your choice. It's not my choice as much as I want to choose for you. It's not your teacher's choice as much as they want to choose for you. It's not your best friend or your worst enemy's choice. Not your mom or dad or any family member's choice. It's your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You could go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. Let's hop right into it. You all know it. The three B's. Number one, be respectful to yourself as well as to others. Many of you guys are paying attention to me. Hello. Thank you. I love that you're using your eyes and your ears. It means a lot. And then when it's your turn to talk, when it's your turn to express your ideas and your feelings, you deserve that attention. You deserve Mr. Lim paying attention to you and being mindful about what you're trying to tell me. Your teachers deserve I mean, need to do the same thing. Your, your best friends, your worst enemies, they all need to give you that same respect. You deserve it. And you need to give that respect to yourself when you think about the day. Are you showing that integrity, doing the right thing even when nobody else is looking? Telling the truth, even if you think you could get away with it. Are you? And if you are, you're respecting yourself, how dignified you deserve to be. Which brings us to being responsible. There's a lot that we can't control in this world, right? I can't control the weather as much as I want to. I can't control the day of the week. I can't control this, that, and the other. But guess what? There is a lot I can do. So instead of worrying about things that I can't do, I'm going to worry about the things I can do. Like I can control my hands and my feet and the words that come out of my mouth and how I think. If I think about giving up too often, I just might. But if I think that I can keep trying and give it a good shot, guess what? I'm going to do that. If I think about being encouraging to others, I'm going to do that. It's just how we work. So, boys and girls, when we talk about control, it's not just about our physical selves, but also how we think and how our feelings go. The other thing, too, is make sure you follow directions. You can control that. Make sure you get your homework done. You, you take care of business. You, you know, keep your promises. Those things are also under responsibility. And that brings us to being ready. Ready to learn. Ready to succeed. To win. And also being ready to fail. You know, that's not something that people love talking about. But you know what? If it's just part of the process, it's just part of the process. Keep on swimming, right? You all know about that. That is everything our character trait of the month is about, which is perseverance. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. You know, if you fail 10 times, try 11 times. If you fail 15 times, try 16 times. Always try one more time than you fail. And then you'll be a better person. You'll be more successful. Even if you're not where you want to be, you will be moving in the right direction. Last but not least, really important message. I love you just the way you are. Each one of you boys and girls, those of you guys who come up and tell me that you love me just the way I am, yeah, I love you right back. And even if you don't, even if you would rather tell somebody else, guess what? I still love you just the way you are. I love how unique you are. I love how you're growing. 
I love just the fact that you're that important to our school. All right, so go share that message to others, teachers included, grown-ups included, your worst enemies included. Go share that message. Can't wait to see you guys around. Have an amazing Monday.